Sinama na ko ni Ralph na padumihan ng cartwheel. So, yun. So, I was like, gee, the bag because I'm, I'm kind of competitive. So, this, so yun, yeah, nag-cartwheel si Ralph and then nag-cartwheel din ako. And then, that was like one of their tasks also. And another task was, um, another task was, was yung pal my favorite line, yung, Pasensya ka na, God bless, ingat palagi. So me and Kobe did that. Like, we were like doing a handshake. And apparently I had to do it like, we did it like in different expressions. Like, happy, pasensya ka na, God bless, the sad. Pasensya ka na, God bless, ingat palagi. And then, mad. Pasensya ka na, God bless, ingat palagi. And then, yeah, there's like different expressions. And I really enjoyed it. So that was their task. So tapos na yung task na yun. So after that, um, everybody was like, the big lang to mahimik yung bahay. You know, I don't know bakit hindi ko napansin. Like, wala ng napansin na there was something na may pinet prepare sila or anything. Wala talaga ng napansin. Ganun na ko ka slow and kapalimali. But yeah, so, nung pumasa kami after the card wheel and all that, I, I also made Gian kape. I made kape for her. Tapos, yun, we were in the room na, parang nasa, nasa room ako the whole, the whole, the rest of the afternoon, the rest of the afternoon, nag-ayos ako ng cabinet, gano'n. Kasi yung cabinet ko, walang second floor, like, yung second na lalagyan, when I entered the house, after isolation, like, isa lang siya, so sobrang, sobrang nahirapan ako, sobrang nahirapan ako, kasi hindi ko lang kung saan ko ilalagay yung damit ko, sobrang kalap ng damit ko. So when you see my cabinet, Right now, like it's super maayos na kasi may second, may second floor na yun. Second floor na yung cabinet ko. Yeah, so I was fixing my laundry. I put my clothes there. I arranged my clothes. You know, and then si Lalisa sinasabi na na let's prepare, let's dress up, let's doll up. You know, and I was like, okay, sige. And tinamad pa ako na nag sobrang tinamad ako kasi di ba ako nung gagawin namin sa araw na yun. Akala ko may pasabog si Kuya or like may paandar si Kuya. <laughs> But yeah, so we were preparing, we did our makeup, then Alyssa like fixed my hair, I dressed up, and on. And it took, ang tagal namin sa bedroom, sa totoo lang. Like, ang tagal namin sa bedroom. And I did not know na habang nagpre-prepare pa lang kami, nasa garden yung iba nag-decorate no? for my celebration. So yeah, I'm just really happy na I got to celebrate my birthday here in Kuya's house with the 13 other, the 12 other housemates. Sobrang saya ko. As in, like, hindi, ko, hindi talaga ako makapaniwala na dito ako nag-celebrate. And sobrang sweet ni Kuya kasi, you know, like, pinayagan niya na i-celebrate yung birthday ko dito, gano'n. <sighs> Nayak na naman ako. But yeah, I'm really happy and I wouldn't, I'm pretty sure na my celebration yesterday wouldn't be successful or wouldn't, ha wouldn't have happened if it weren't for you, community. Kasi yung cheer dance namin the other day, ang bilis namin magka 2 million. Like, sobrang bilis namin magka 2 million. And nagulat ako kasi after ng first round team namin ng 3 cheers namin, sobrang isinabi na na ulit ulit kasi wala pang 2 million. So, inisip ko so, nilalamigan na kami lahat nun na nilalamigan na kami kasi yung labi ko naging ube like naging purple na yung naging purple na yung lips ko nung kasi bago pa lang magsimula purple na yung lips ko tapos yun so yeah I just really appreciate all of you and I really thank all of you kasi ginagawa like sobrang sobrang supportive nyo sa aming lahat na housemates. And I know I'm the, I'm the third, like, I'm, I'm the third housemate na nagla-livestream. But then, I hope you guys, like, are enjoying my kwentuhan, you know. And, okay, oh my gosh. Um, I also saw my mom yesterday. And I was super happy. Like, I literally broke down in tears. I was so happy kasi nakita ko si mommy. And like, for my aking mom ko, like, she, she lost weight, I was like, wow. She was, my mom, I just see my mom, I was like, wow, my mom's so beautiful. Like, so bang naganda na ako sa mom ko kahapon. Kasi I haven't seen my family for like, over a month na, for more than a month. And it's my first time. Like, alam nyo naman yung story ko na, you know, like, 
I'm sheltered, like wala talaga ako nung sa outside world, sobrang dependent kong tao. Palagi na lang, palagi ako nag-realize sa friends ko, sa friends ko, naman, like konting problema, like feel ko kailangan kong, kailangan ko, kailangan ko agad ng tulong, like I don't even try to, I don't even try to like help myself or comfort myself, I don't even try to resolve the problem by myself, like ganun ako ka-dependent. And honestly, like because I'm here, sa bayan ni Kuya, sobrang, I I know na I did grow a lot. Like I I learned a lot of things here. Sobrang dami ko nagawa dito sa bayan ko yung first day palang ng isolation ko. Like sobrang malaking pagsubok yun sa buhay ko. Kasi hindi ko talaga. It was kind of stressful, especially when it was raining. Iyon. Kasi um. It's it's like a roller coaster ride here in Kuya's house. Like my emotions went went all over the place, and yeah, I'm so happy that I got to see my mom after like a month. I really needed. Like she told me, like she gave me advice, and I'm just happy. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> but I, I'm just gonna share it with you guys because I'm so proud of you. When I saw my mom. When I saw her, no, actually, nagulat pa ako nung bumukas yung pinto. As in, gumanon pa talaga ako, nagulat ako. Then, I saw my mom. It was Kuya's gift to me. So, thank you, Kuya. Love this, Kuya. So, I talked to my mom and then she told me na, yun, she was like, Happy birthday, Andy, ganon. Happy 19th birthday. And, we were just hugging. She was telling me na, she misses me ganon. Then, I asked her, I asked her, na parang, are you proud of me? Then my mom said, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to cry in the live stream, but like, it was so, it was like, sobrang nabusog yung puso ko. Like, my heart was so full when she told me na she's proud of me. Then my grandparents then, they told me, no, I should always take care. And then my mom was like, my mom was like happy then because I started to eat gulai here in Kuya's house. Like, hindi talaga ako makain ng gulai, especially ng ampalaya. Like, I hate ampalaya. I hate all kinds of gulai. Like, I, hindi talaga siya, hindi ako makain nun. But because, nandito ako sa bayan ni Kuya, yun yung pala, palaging may gulai na ulam. Kinakain ko, and I actually, I'm not disgusted by gulai na. But I still kind of like, don't like ampalaya kasi ang, ay, talaga na ampalaya. Hindi ko talaga kain ng but yeah, my mom was like, my mom was telling me na, uh, she was telling me na Ishtin, because I've opened up a lot. I've opened up a lot here in Korea's house. Yung mga bagay na hindi ko kaya sabihin sa ibang tao, even sa friends ko. Like, um, you know, like, we all have our struggles. And I had, I had a lot of struggles then with my parents. And you know, I was able to like, open it up here in Korea's house. And it did make me feel a lot better because, of course, I didn't want to let it go that long. And I had the courage to like finally let it go. Then, then my mom was like just giving me advice. She was telling me that, um, she was telling me that I'm more than enough. That I shouldn't put too much pressure to myself. And uh, and like my favorite, my mom. Siya <laughs> ako. Do you know that okay, Kyra? Like. Okay, anyway, my mom said, because remember when we had like the football task and we had like the pictures of her dance, the shirts not then, and it opened up for us that, oh, I feel like I'm not, I'm not my dad, I used to be my dad's little girl, my dad's princess, you know? but then it kind of like got away. So um, when I saw my mom yesterday, she told me that, she my dad, I'm still his. <laughs> I'm still his little princess, and it just made me so happy. Yeah, I'm just like I don't hear these things from my parents a lot. And yeah, I really, and I feel like I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to hear all of those words, all of those like reminders that would make me, that that makes that made me a hundred percent better. That made me feel a hundred percent better now. Um, if it weren't for you guys, like the community, mahal ko kayo guys. I love you all so much. You know, I was trying to.
to learn the Bisaya of I love you and I, I forgot. I forgot. But mahal ko talaga kayo. I love you guys so much kasi alam kong hindi mag, mag hindi mangyayari yung celebration ko pa hapon. Kung hindi natin nagawa yung cheer dance na yun. So yeah. And of course, like, sobrang thankful ako sa housemates. I know na I'm 19. Like, I'm 19 na. I'm like, I'm, I'm basically an adult. Even when I was 18, like, I'm an adult and it's my last year as a teenager. But then, the housemates here, they make me feel Nah, I'm their little girlfriend, you know, like sila chico, like sobrang sila chico, sila Leifer, sila Nessa, sila Mika, like sila Ella, everyone in the house, like they treat me na parang I'm their little girl. So I really feel so happy na I got to like be here. And na lang, um, the, I don't say, I don't like, you don't say it every day, like they don't, especially yung mga messages ng boys yesterday. Um, hindi kasi nila araw-araw na sa akin na you make us happy ganun, ganun. And it made me so happy when they said na whenever na I'm namasaya ko like na nerd na nerd yung energy ko sa bahay so yeah I hope na papasaya ko din kayo like I really hope na papasaya ko kayo and I hope you guys like learn also from me like honestly I really wanna try to be an inspiration to the outside world. But yeah, I know that I don't know my story ko naman isn't like as heavy as the others here in the, in the house. And But I really hope na there's like there are insights in my story. Like, I don't know naman may mga bagay na give me a little But yeah, I'm so happy. Basically, that's what happened to birthday ko. Honestly, na bad trip pa ako, like before I saw my mom. Like, I was so sad because I'm like, like Awai, ah, love sila Kobe and Leifer and Chris Mar. So I'm like, I Chris Mar and Chico, and it made me sad because I didn't wanna, I didn't want anyone to be like sad on my birthday. I wanted everyone to be happy. But yeah, apparently they were just pretending. So kaya next time na mag acting acting sila na bad trip sila, hindi na talaga ako maniniwala. Hindi na talaga ako maniniwala. As in, hindi na, hindi na ako mauuto don. But yeah. Um, anyway, so yeah, it was like, yesterday was just amazing. It's like one of the best days I have, I've had here in Kuya's house. And that's the best birthday ever. And yeah, honestly, I just have 30 minutes. And so haba ng kwento na yun. Sana hindi kayo na bored. I hope you guys support me. I hope you continue to support me. And this is the live stream. Sana you drop gifts for me. And oh my gosh, guys, I was going to say to Kuya. That's like the biggest achievement. Like, awit. Then now, Kuya says, Pasensya ka na, God bless, ingat palagi. Like, I'm just happy that I got to say it. The iconic Kuya of the PBB house said that. And that the run ko si Kuya not, like, Pasensya ka na, God bless, ingat palagi. And sobrang. It makes me so happy that Kuya says that. And I hope you guys say that na rin. Diba? Pag kunyan, ikaw may pasad siya ka na. God bless you. Palagay. But then, paalala lang sa inyo ng lahat. <laughs> like, don't say it when you're in a serious situation. Like, yun lang naman. But yeah. Oh, ano pa ba? Hmm. I bet I have so much mali, mali moments here. Like, I have no idea talaga. I'm sorry kung mali mali ako. Actually, ngayon ko lang nalaman yung term na mali-mali and yun yung sinasabi nila sa akin. And, like, nung sinabi sa akin ni Justin noon, he's like, mali-mali ka talaga. Like, ano ba yung mali-mali? And I was like, bakit mali-mali? See, that, that just explains why I'm such a mali-mali. But yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, I have like nine minutes na lang. And, kasi binigyan lang kami ni Kuya ng 30 minutes. And I'm so happy that I got to have this live stream. I got to have this time with all of you para makapagpasalamat ako sa lahat ng support na nabinibigyan niyo sa akin. So if you're watching right now, kung kakapasok mo lang sa live stream na ito, don't forget to share this live stream to all your friends and families, to your social media accounts, and also don't forget to, ano, to 
drop gifts. Shower me with your cool blessings. And yeah, I'm <laughs> and yeah, I'm super happy that I got to talk to you guys. Because I really wanted like, I kalau talo gay yung task na ginawa namin, yung ginawa, yung binigyan niyo kami ng two million diamonds. I kalau gay yung task na yon para sa weekly task. And apparently it was free. So I'm just, I'm just so happy because. Alam hindi talaga ako makabuwan sa topic na to kasi sobrang saya ko talaga na ipinag, pinagmamalan ko talaga na nakaselebrate ako ng birthday dito sa bahay ni Kuya. Like yung the amount of love and and genuine happiness I've gotten, like I've received yesterday in the past few days were like, was like so much, like sobrang saya ko talaga. So thank you so much community, mahal ko kayo. I love you all. I forgot the Bisaya. Mahal ko kayo. Mahal na mahal ko kayo, community. And yeah. Now that now I only have like a few minutes left. Um, Sana so you guys like. I'm just gonna like. Oh my god, I'm mal mal ko. Like so, brang di ko magana yung utak ko na yun. So yeah, I'm just gonna go You know what happened to my scars? Like so, brang random. Like this is just an additional. Kahapon kasi nung nag musical chairs kami, katabi ko si Leofer, and di ba si Masayo kami, ganun. Tapos yung pagkaupo ko kasi, bumaba ko. So like, pagkaupo ko, pag ganun. And then yung chair ko, gumanon. Like, nag-give up yung chair ko. I was like, sinubok ako ng buhay. Sinubok ako ng buhay. Tama ba? Sinubok ako ng buhay. Yeah, and then, and then like, yung parang yung la, yung buhay ko gumanon sa harap ko. As I was about to fall. And then, <laughs> Never stood up. Never stood up. So he like got out of the of the game. He got he got out of the game. And then no no And I feel bad because it's not one of the facility. Like I'm not competitive, so I'm not karma. So yeah, ang sakit mang dito ko may pasa. And yeah, so basically I had scars here. And honestly, at yung mga yung mga scars na to, like. So brang na ilang ako pag nakikita siya or na expose kasi especially this one because it looks like self harm and it just makes me worry a bit kasi baka may ma trigger ako ng mga tao naman. and I just want to apologize if that happened but yeah I just want to explain my scars like one two three four hindi to kasama so musical chairs yan so these scars are like are from an injury they're from an injury I got Last September of 2020, because I was like I was in a rush in, inside the house, and then I woke up. Mer, sa bahay kasi namin, meron kami ng doors doon, like the kitchen, in between the kitchen and the living and the dining area. So my doors kami doon, na may windows. So when I fell, I was supposed to hold onto one of the doors, but then apparently, unfortunately, my hand went through the glass. So yeah, nabasag yung glass, nasugatan ako. I had like 11 stitches. And I panicked kasi the, the blood like went out talaga. Akala ko, akala ko I was gonna... Honestly, like, I'm not gonna lie. I got so scared kasi I thought I lost a lot of blood. And then like, I was sweating and I turned pale. And I was like, I couldn't breathe. But it's I was just having like a, I was having a panic attack. Then yun, then I calmed down a bit, then I was rushed to the hospital, then I had stitches. And yung pagdating ko sa hospital, nakaalis na yung doctor, so nag-type pa ako ng mga 30 to 30 minutes, gano'n. Kasi nung wala pa yung doctor, umalis na siya, so yun, bumalik pa yung doctor. So salamat, maraming salamat sa doctor na yun, bumalik pa. So, sana all the time. But yeah, so yeah, I had like 11 stitches, and it was like, I was injured for, I had stitches for two weeks. And then for two weeks, I was so brang bad dressed. I couldn't even tie my hair that time. But yeah, after two weeks, they removed the stitches, and a few days after, I could like remove my hats. Na. And yeah, now I'm just like traumatized with broken glass. So, doing my masisira na glass dito. 
natatakot ako hawakan. Kasi ayaw ko na talaga. Like, when I saw the, the injuries, like, it was so bad. And yeah, like, it was such a traumatizing experience for me. And and second most traumatizing experience for me was nung kumain ako ng worms dito sa bahay ni Kuya. Yung roadblock namin na yun. Sobrang, sobrang na-feel ko yung legs ng worms na yun sa dila ko. That's why I spat it out. And si Alyssa then, imagine me and Alyssa in one room na kakain ng worms. Sobrang, sobrang tagal namin sa confession room. So, feel ko na stress si Kuya sa amin. But yeah, and then third traumatizing experience was Vala. Like, hindi na ako makain nun kasi ko makain ako ng tinapay and Vala was like chasing after me. Like, Vala was like looking at me lang. But yeah, I've I've had so much fun here sa bayan ko. Even if nakaka traumatize me, sobrang nag enjoy it. And I have like two minutes left, so I'm basically I'm, I'm I might just like wrap it up. So I hope you guys just like continue to watch PBB, continue to support me, Andrea Bayang, Chiri na sweetheart ng Paranaque, hindi na 18 years old, 19 years old na adult na siya. And yeah, I just wanna thank you guys so much for the time na binigay niyo to watch this live stream, to watch me and, and everything I said. Thank you so much. Please continue to support me and I hope you guys share this live stream to all your friends and families, your social media accounts, I hope you drop kay ng gifts, kano mga gifts yan. Continue to shower me with your kumu blessings. Thank you, thank you so much. I I know na lahat ng comments na binibigyan yon are filled with so much love and support. And yeah, thank you so much community. Sobrang blessed ko na maging di na nandito. Hindi ko talaga yun nakalang na kapasko sa bahay ko yun. At mahaka magkakaroon ako ng sobrang Dami support na. Me and Chiki are so happy. And yeah, thank you so much, community. I have like 30 seconds left. And I just want to say thank you so much. Mahal ko kayo. Mahal na mahal na mahal na mahal ko kayong lahat. I really, really hope you continue to support me and you continue to see like what else I have in store here in Kuya's house. Kasi marami pa talaga akong ipapakita. Marami pa akong magpuprove. And marami pa akong mali-mali moments and you know, like Andy moments. Andrea moments here in Kuya's house. So yeah. Thank you, community. I love you all so much. Mwah! Hi community! Magandang araw sa inyong lahat! It's me, Andrea Abaya, ang chill and sweetheart ng Baranaque. So, binigyan kami ng task ni Kuya sa...